Hey there, I'm Rodney and welcome back to eFishing. Today we're back out in the garage and we're going to paint a crankbait today. Now, <clears throat> Strike King 1.5 square bills used to come in this color. Now, Strike King doesn't paint that color anymore, or at least I've not been able to find it. And I like to throw it here in the fall sometimes. Uh, especially if you get a little bit of stained water, I, th I think it's a pretty good decent color. So I got a couple of 1.5s. I got them taped off and we're going to go um, get this going and we're going to try to paint these up, show you how I do this. Um, I'm not the best at this, but um, I learn all the time. So I'll show you what I know. Maybe y'all got a few tips that'll help me out out there. So um, let's get to painting. All right, here we are. We're going to start, and we're going to start by putting down a coat of white on this. So I just got a Createx uh, Opaque White here. And we're running it straight out of the bottle. We'll see if we can do that. If not, we might have to thin it down a little bit. But here we go. All right, we'll set that aside. We're gonna get our other one here and we're gonna just hold it. All right, now we're gonna put another coat on this one. And put another coat on this one. All right, now that we got this, uh, these coats are white on here. We're going to heat set it with a hairdryer and just uh, to make sure that's uh, on there. Good. So All right. Now that that's done, look over your bait and make sure you don't have any other colors showing through. And if you do, like there's a little black on here. I don't know if it's showing through on the camera, but we're going to add just a little bit more white on there. Just to cover that up. And this white paint, if you shoot it straight out of the bottle, um, and don't thin it up any, uh, you're gonna need to run it at a pretty high pressure. So I'm running around 40 to 50 PSI on this. All right, I'm gonna change colors and we'll get the next color on. So hold on just a second, I'm gonna clean this up. <clears throat> All right, next step, we're gonna use some of this uh, fluorescent orange on the belly. So I like to generally start from the belly and work my way up to the back of the bait. So I'm going to take that and we're going to drop just a few drops in there because we're not going to need a whole lot of that. Get it to where it's coming out orange. All right. So we're just going to come straight down the belly here. There we go. There's one belly. And there's number two. That easy. All right, let's change colors. All right. 
Next color, we're going to use this Createx fluorescent yellow for the sides. And normally, these Createx bottles, they don't have a ball bearing or anything in them, so I just find a couple of screws or nuts and stick down in there, and it helps kind of keep that uh, paint mixed up. So we got some of that in there. All right, so here we go. Next color on the sides. And we done messed up. Got a little orange in there. Let's see if that'll cover up. It ain't so bad. These fluorescent colors, you need to dry them to put two coats on them. this thing up all right the next thing all right the next thing we're going to use is some of this um uh, mesh uh, weave i don't remember what this stuff's called but you can find it in your craft department fairly easy just gonna measure it off here a little bit see what i need Are. All right, we'll be right back, folks. I gotta find some stuff. All right, we're back. Let's see what we can do here. And put that one on there. So we'll be right back when we get that other one fixed up. All right. All right, we got these fixed up. And this one on the left, I doubled the fabric up. And this one on the right is it's got the single fabric on it. So we're gonna see how this does in this process. You just want to take your time and make sure everything's nice and flat on there. Like 
so. All right. Now, we're going to use this Wicked color, and it's w Wicked Detail Burnt Umber. And we're going to see how this sucker goes on this back. And we're just going to paint the back and the shoulders with it. So, hold on. All right, here we go. Let's see what happens. There's that one. Let's try this other one. Let's see how we did here. Take all of our little clips off. And let's see what's going on. Here we go. See what it looks like. Oh my, how's that look? That's pretty sexy there, kids. I like that. All right, let's set that one up here on our rack. And let's see what happened here. what we got on this one. Oh yeah. Uh oh. We done scratched our paint there a little bit, but I think we'll be alright. It's just for me. How's that look? That looks pretty good, don't it? Alright. Let's go to the next step. So the next step, we may just use that brown that we had. Let's just use that. I think that looks pretty good. So, so we don't mess anything up on our bait. Let's take a paper towel and lay it down here. And we're gonna lay our bait down here like so it'll do it and then what i've got is i've got a stencil that i've made and we're going to see if we can't get this stencil this bait in this stencil and we're going to spray the stencil on there so with this stencil, uh, one thing I did learn while I was doing this is that uh, all that extra tape around the bill, I had to end up cutting that off. So uh, I ended up messing up there a little bit and went back and redid a few things on this. So anyway, got that stencil, uh, painted, painted one side, and we're going to use the, the hair dryer here and just heat set that in there. And then we're going to take that stencil and we're going to put it back on the other side and if you don't heat set it then when you go to hold that thing with your finger on the other side you're going to smear the 
paint on the other side so make sure you heat set that before you do it and again with this um, uh, createx wicked i'm still shooting it around 30 to 40 psi just like the the bottle recommends it and you just you know take your time spray around each one of your little cutouts there and they'll uh, all come out pretty nice We're going to heat set it again. And now we're going to take that thing and uh, paint the, the back on there with the same, same color and just take your time and make you a stripe down the back. And um, with this detail burnt umber, it's, it's kind of light, but if you build it up, by doing multiple passes on it it'll it'll darken it up and then i'm also darkening around around the eyeballs there a little bit just just to give them a little bit of highlight here in a little bit but just keep building your layers up slowly i guess that's one thing about airbrushing is if you go slow on building your colors up you'll you'll get it to the to the, the way you want it and just check it out every now and then see how how things are going put it back in the helping hands there and do the same thing on the other side. I'll just speed this video up here. And... See how things going and just darkening those eyes up a little bit more. Just building that that color up. And darkening the back up just a little bit. Now, the next step is we're going to paint the eyeballs on. So I'm going to just use uh, some Createx paint and shake it up and get some paint down in the lid there. And I'm just going to use a, a Q-tip on this. Now these Q-tips, you kind of form them into a little point there and then dip your paint into them. And they really help when you have, if you don't have a flat surface like these eyeballs here. Now. I'm dotting that on there and I'm going, hmm, that's not very dark. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some white Createx here. Now this white Createx, I'm just going to shake it up, get some into the, the lid there, and uh, take that Q-tip and just roll it around in that paint and kind of form a little tip on the end of it there about the size of your eyeballs that you want and then just dot that white on there now this white is going to let that red show a whole lot better than it was by just just by dotting it onto that brown now that red was a was a transparent color so if i'd have had an opaque it might have done a little better but sometimes doing this little trick with the white on your eyeballs um uh, really help helps them uh, stand out a little bit so especially if you got light a lighter color that you want to want to put in your eyes uh, like if you wanted to put chartreuse in there or orange or something like that doing this or doing this white and then painting your color over the top of those uh, really helps out and you just take your time there and think you need a little more paint on one just keep dabbing it on there until you get the amount that you think you need so I'm just going to paint over that red that I had there and I forgot to heat set that that red so um, I just flipped that q-tip over so I wouldn't get that red into my white paint run out a little paint so we got some out of the top of the bottle there and just tap that on there like that and now you've got some white eyeballs ready to paint red so we'll close that up and we're going to get our hair dryer out now and we're going to going to heat set these So now that these are heat set, we can uh, take our red here 
I gotta remember which Q-tip I had. Make sure you get the right one, so you're not mixing your colors up in your bottle. Just roll that thing around in there. Get some red on there. And if you don't have enough paint in your in the tip of your cap there, just put your cap back on. Turn your paint bottle upside down. You'll get some more paint in there. That's the free secret sauce right there for you today. Now, just again, just take your Q-tip and dot it on there. And cover up all that white paint. And if you go over a little bit, it's not going to be that bad because it's not really going to show on that, that brown too bad. So... And I'll say every time you do a new eyeball, re-dip your paint in and um, refill that Q-tip up. Now, the next thing, I've got this other little eye daughter here. And it's, um, I think I got it from Lure Parts Online maybe. But it's an eye daughter. And it's basically just a smaller Q-tip. And if you didn't have one of these, you could take a Q-tip and just uh, uh, pull some of the fiber out and just make a smaller point on there. And you just take that thing and line it up and dot it on there just like that. And now you got an eyeball. It's pretty easy. And then just re dip your paint every time you go to do a new one. Just look at them, make sure they look good, and if they look good, you're you're done. All right, so for this Envirotex, it's a one-to-one -one coating. So you need one part of this of the hardener and one part of the resin. So to do that, for these two baits. I'm going to use about an ounce and a half of hardener and an ounce and a half of resin. So, let's see what we can do here. our hardener we'll set that aside let's get our resin make sure we got the right syringe take my little cheap paintbrush and I'm just going to start swirling mixing this stuff up real good and you'll notice that this stuff kind of turns a little hazy and there's bubbles in it so you just keep mixing it and then you'll notice it'll kind of clear up a little bit And it's got some bubbles in it and whatnot. Those things, they'll come out. You just want to make sure you get it mixed up really well. Make sure you get it off the sides. Your cup. All right. There it is, let's get our first bait. I 
just put some of it on there and brush it on. Make sure you get around the front eye there real good, around your eyeballs. Make sure you get around the bill. And once you get it all coated up, I'll put it on my lower turner. Oop. Let's see if you can see all this. I'm gonna put it on my lower turner. And I'm gonna So what we're gonna do is we're gonna plug this sucker up and let it start turning there. That way that epoxy. And then we'll put this little paper towel underneath it just in case it drips any. All right, let's get our other plug. All right, we're gonna put this one on the turner too. All right, there it goes. So we're going to let these sit here and turn on these, this turner for a couple hours and let that epoxy dry real well. We're going to look at them here and just make sure we don't need to touch anything up before we go. But I think they're looking all right. So we'll be back when this dries and we'll put the second coat with the glitter in it. Until then, we're out. All right, folks, here we are. We've got our first coat of epoxy on our crankbaits, and we're going to be ready to do our second part, our second coat, with some glitter on them. Those look pretty good, don't they? At least I think they do. They're mine, so that's what matters, right? So here we go, we're going to mix some more resin up, probably about an ounce, ounce for this second part. So here's our gold glitter. And what we're going to do is we're going to open this up. And when you open this stuff up, just be real careful because it's real fine. If you spill it, you'll never clean it up. But I'm just going to take a little flat head screwdriver and get a little scoop and put it in there. And that's all we got. And then we're going to close this up before we make a mess. So that's about how much glitter I put in for it. And I'm just going to stir this around. And if you want more glitter, you can put more in it. If you want less, don't put as much in there. Because once you put it in, well, that's what you got to work with. So here we go. Eight number one, just like we did before. We'll scoop it out and put it on there. All right, there's the first one. We're going to put it on the dryer. I'll be right back. All right, we're back. We got our number two bait here to do. So we're just gonna do the same thing. We're gonna put this epoxy on. Just gonna brush it on.
All right, we're gonna put it on the rack and then I'll show you that here in just a second. All right, here they are. We're gonna let them spin for a little while and when they get all dry, I'll bring them back and I'll show you the, the final product. Until then, we're out. All right, guys, here we are. We got these two baits done, so uh, let's show them to you. I think they look pretty good. Let's see what y'all think. Here they are. Went ahead and put hooks on them. That one doesn't want to stay on there. See the backs? Look at this light here. See them pretty good. But that's it. That's our chartreuse crawl. Until next time, we're out.